Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. I got a piece of rigid foam insulation here. Looks like it's about one and a half inches. And I'm thinking of putting uh, a piece of this on top of the hive uh, underneath the top cover. Now you can get products like this, but I have this piece here. I'm thinking I'm going to cut it. And the, the uh, reasoning is that you get the condensation when the warm air suddenly meets the cold air on the other side, on the inside of the top cover. So if you can maintain that temperature so that the warm air doesn't suddenly hit the cold air underneath on that plywood, uh, it's not going to produce condensation. And I'm, I'm guessing just if it stays warm, the moist air will go out with the warm air through the vent holes instead of um, condensating and, and soaking into uh, the uh, plywood underneath the top cover. So I've got this piece here. I might as well use it. We're going to have some single temperature. I think it's going to be like 6 degrees overnight. It's it's really in the 40s today, but it's going to be like 6, uh, six degrees tomorrow morning and a wind chill. So I can cut this. I want to put a little bit of a lip on it, so I'll just use uh, one of the hive bodies I have, um, a super, to trace the outline <clears throat> to get the dimensions and then uh, I'll have to cut a little bit of a lip into it so that it, it seats into, I don't know, maybe, maybe a half inch into the um, well, it, that will seat into the Vivaldi board. So this here has to seat... Well, yeah, the, the top cover has to fit on top of this. Um, doesn't have to, I guess. You can put a large rock on it like I do anyways to keep this sandwiched in between. But I wanted this inside a little bit so it's just not laying on top. So let me cut this up. So I lined it up with two originally manufactured edges so they're nice and straight and then I just want to cut these two sides here and now then on the inside is where I have to cut a lip so it seats inside Ends up it's safer and easier just to do it with the uh, handsaw. So I just eyeballed it. Nothing fancy, so that's what I want. Now the other three sides. So this is what it looks like. Let's see if it fits. So I'm going to change out the burlap. I don't think I need as much as I have in there now because this is going to set inside the space a little bit with that lip. Oh, the wind's picking up. I'm going to do this quick. So this is the original. It's all dried out now. This is wet. So I'll take this off. Figures it starts to get windy as soon as I take that off. Put this on. I can just do with one piece, but let's put this in. This just sits right in here. Perfect. And this 
this should fit on top. Good. So that should uh, prevent the moisture from getting to the plywood on the top cover. It's supposed to be pretty windy tomorrow, so time for a larger rock. So this is New England Gardening, thanks for watching.